What is something considered conventionally unattractive that you find hot as hell? There was this girl in high school that had fireburn scars all over her back and shoulder, but she would always either wear backless tops or her sweater off of her shoulder. The straight up confidence and aura she exuded was the sexiest thing ever. It's nice to know that no matter what you look like, somebody somewhere finds you attractive. When older women have graying hair, I think some carry the look very well. Shyness I guess. Everyone always says you need to be confident to be attractive but I'd never mattered to me if someone is socially inept I find them more genuine and relatable. I remember fairly early on into dating my girlfriend I thought she was wearing some perfume and I asked her if she was cause I thought she smelled nice. She hasn't showered in two days. Her mom would also joke with me about how she dresses like a hobo. I'd kiff that counts but it's part of her charm. I'm a man who really likes women taller than me, don't think that's common. Not conventionally unattractive, just perhaps, nobody cares about it. A few years ago I visited the Louvre and in the Egyptian wing there was some skinny, bald and not really hot dude crouched on the floor, translating hieroglyphics through the display window onto a notebook. I thought that was super hot. Scars. It's impossible to be boring if you have a scar because every scar has a story. They also add a natural form of uniqueness to a person's appearance. Looking unkempt and disheveled. Both on men and women. Like long, messy hair, tired eyes, sweatpants and sports bra, a worn out coat, a scraggly beard and a cigarette like they went through some shit today. There is a fine line between looking like a gross slob and this, I guess, hobo chic or sleepy beauty look though. Also I'm totally biased in that it's only when people I already find relatively attractive do it. But it's a look most people seem to disapprove of in general. When my GF dresses like a basement dweller on a Saturday. I love it. Crow's feet in women. They make me weak in the knees. Especially when they smile. Big noses or omen noses on women. Nerdy looking and acting men who don't think they are attractive. Women with a raspy voice. Not like, chain smoker level of raspy, but if there's a slight raspiness to it, it's hot say f edit no, not vocal fry. There's a difference. You know how some girls get all self-conscious that body hugging dresses or pencil skirts give them a little pot belly? Well that shit is hot af. Big noses on men. Women that have a thick pure for a voice. Like a husky Shakira. I just love to listen to a permanent bedroom voice. Cozy and sexy. That little fat patch between boob and armpit. This is a very wholesome comments section. People who are social outcasts don't fit in. I've never understood the idea of social proof to begin with honestly. Receiving a lot of attention or having a lot of friends doesn't mean that you're a better person partner, all it means is that you either have good social skills or have something that people want or at least you act like you have something people want. Ears. I turn into a Ferengi when it comes to ears. I feel like a lot of guys scrolling here should know that rolling up your sleeves makes you instantly more attractive. Nerdy men. Like a true nerd, passionate about his awesome hobby that only nerds have lol. I didn't want to list any of said hobbies as to not offend anyone. The little pouch on a lady's lower tummy, especially in pencil skirts. Scruffy men. Unkempt hair, five o'clock shadows, untucked. Note unkempt and dirty are different and distinct things unkempt is hot. Unwashed is gross. Glasses. Doesn't matter what kind to me, they all look good with them. If she's also intelligent on top of that, that's the perfect combo. The little wispy sideburns some South Asian girls get. When you can see the ribs between above a fit older woman's boobs. Accents you don't expect. Like a typical white girl in America that has a German accent or a Vietnamese woman from Texas or a black woman from England. Big noses particularly with a little bump on them. Acne scars. Uneven boobs. Man, women are neat. 
I've seen a lot of hate for gingers. I've always loved red-haired guys. Bedhead. I like being with someone who is just a little bit clingy not crazy, but someone who wants to text me frequently and needs me around a lot. I adore having a sense of desire. For me personally it's vitiligo, something about it is just really pretty to me. Windmills. I love their huge presence of smooth rotation okay the horizon and what they represent. When someone geeks out about something they're passionate about. Feeling comfortable expressing your interests is sexy, especially if it's obscure. Women dressed in white after Labor Day. I love the salt and pepper in my man's beard. Oh, and calloused hands. Short guys. Don't know why they get so much hate, they're just condensed hotness. Extremely dark skin. The Sudanese Tamils are the most beautiful people in the world. Thick dudes. Give me a big bear of a man with a paunch. Give me a dude with a dad bod. A father figure, if you will I also like a really hairy chest. Fucked up teeth, healthy but not straight, a gap, snaggle tooth. Imperfect teeth. Freckles, first pick. Also, I think glasses are attractive. Not cosmetic glasses worn for a look, but those that scientists wear that make the eyes look magnified. I'm peculiar. Also ink. I know it's a personal thing and not meant for others, but tattoos with stories fascinate me. And strong hands on women. Hands that look like they've done stuff. No nail polish or rhinestones, no glitter. Short nails, maybe some dirt underneath from gardening or motor oil from pulling down an engine.